Today you will be told a tale of accidental poisoning. The story of a middle-aged man, Karamdad, who was a farmer by profession. He was living a happy and healthy life when a day came in his life. It was a pleasant summer morning. He went to the fields to spray his crops with an insecticide named melathion. He was spraying his fields one after the other. Everything was fine when he finished spraying. After taking some rest, he started hoeing one of his fields, when suddenly he started feeling agitated. He was drenching in sweat, saliva started drooling from his mouth, and tears began to flow from his eyes spontaneously. And then, all of a sudden, he fell to the ground. Seeing this, his brother, who was working in a nearby field, ran to him and called the ambulance. The ambulance came and took him to a nearby tertiary care hospital, where he was received by a senior medical officer. Without wasting any further time, she took his history from his brother and took his vitals and noted his signs. His vitals were deranged with heart rate less than 60 beats per minute and respiratory rate less than 20 cycles per minute and he was unconscious. His signs were excessive sweating, salivation, lacrimation, meiosis, urination, diarrhea, bradycardia, seizures, muscle fasciculations, and bronchoconstriction. Correlating his history and signs, she identified the poison to be an organophosphate. She immediately calls a medical resident and asks her to decontaminate him by removing his soiled clothes and washing his body. Meanwhile, she gave him intravenous infusions of 2 mg atropine over 10 minutes until full atropinization and pralidoxine 30 mg per kg over 20 minutes and a slow intravenous infusion of 10 mg diazepam for his seizures. After receiving the treatment, he started to improve. Now, the mechanism of action of organophosphate, atropine and pralidoxine will be discussed in the next video.